guys, welcome back. It is GoodKing205 here. Welcome to Retroplay Episode 2. Today we're jumping into a game called Castle Miner Z. Now, I don't know if any of you have played this, but this is a game that I played a ton with my friends as a kid. It's essentially a zombified version of Minecraft. You know, a little bit more of a somewhat realistic Minecraft. So we're just going to jump in. We'll do a survival. We'll put it on easy just because... Um, I used to play this all the time on Xbox. Um, I am playing this on Steam, however. So as you can see, very similar to Minecraft. Basic concept is essentially the exact same. Uh, you gather supplies. So, first things first, let's gather some coal. Ooh, my sensitivity on my mouse is very high. <laughs> And then we will also want to set up a small base of operations as well. Because nighttime is not fun time in this game. Just like in Minecraft. Come on, thank you, Iron. We'll get some copper as well. But yeah, if you noticed as well, this game has guns. So this isn't going to be super long of an episode, but I haven't played this game in years, like literally like four years I haven't played this game. So it's kind of fun just to jump in and get into some of the games that I used to play as a kid. Um, you don't really get an opportunity to play games like these because this was a game that was made by an indie development company, I think their name was called Digital DNA. Um, I don't know if they're still around and still making games, I'm not sure, but I remember playing this in Castle Miner. Because uh, Castle Miner was the predecessor to Castle Miner Z. Both games, super fun. I remember having a ton of fun playing this game with my friends. It was like a $10 game on Xbox, on the Xbox 360 store. So, relatively cheap game that we could all get and just, just basically screw around with. But yeah, man. Great great freaking memories playing this. This is bringing back a whole wave of whole wave of emotions and nostalgia. <laughs> nostalgia is a hell of a thing, isn't it? Um, okay. So, what can I make? Uh, first things first, I should probably make some copper, yes. And I need I'll need to grab some wood. Let's get some wood real quick. Because a copper pickaxe would be very nice to have. And you know, graphically, this game still looks pretty decent. I have to say, I didn't think the game would look this good still after four years. Because, I mean, four years, this was the last time I played it. This game came out early 2010s. I want to say. Um, but I could be wrong on that. <clears throat> Components. Let's get some wood. Some of that. Let's get a stone axe. And we'll get a copper pickaxe. Uh, let's go down here and start setting up a base. But yeah, I'm happy you guys uh, enjoyed the first episode of Retro Play with uh, Halo 2 on Windows Vista. I'm happy to see that people are enjoying this kind of a series, so figured I'd keep it going. Um, there is also another video that I want to start working on as well. I, I do want to record uh, The Wolf Among Us, mainly because I've actually never played The Wolf Among Us. But I've heard really, really, really good things about The Wolf Among Us. I've seen some gameplay of it. I mean, it's a Telltale game. Oh, fuck no. That's a dragon. Fuck no. Shit balls.
So yeah, dragons are a thing in this game as well, by the way. Usually you don't see dragons this close. They're usually not this close to spawn, but... Fuck me, dude. If I can manage to kill a dragon... Oof, shit! Ow. Okay, time to just say, let's get the fuck out of here. <coughs> Will you screw off? This is not good. We're starting to get into nighttime here. Which means zombinos. Um, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go down into a little cave here. We're just gonna wall ourselves in. Ow. Fuck. You know what, screw it. So yeah, welcome to Castle Miner Z. It can be a pretty spooky game at nighttime. But thankfully we're on easy and it's not going to be too terrible. Also, I think the dragon finally disappeared, which is good. Solid music. I'm just going to mine this loot block here. That is the nice thing about this game, though, is you don't lose inventory on death. Well, I shouldn't say that. You do lose inventory on death. You don't lose your hotbar inventory. <clears throat> but yeah, man, I have not played this game in literal years, and it's... it's Kind of a nostalgia trip to come back. Oh, you fucking dick. I forgot, zombies will pretty much one-hit you in this. They're not nice. You've got to be shitting me. Whoa, 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 whoa! Use you. 
Jesus. I just gotta wait until pretty much daytime. Got him. So you pretty much just have to wait until daytime to do anything here. Is that a dragon again? Yes, it is. You motherfucker! God damn you, dragon! We're just gonna sprint. How about that? Thankfully, not many zombies spawn at once. At least on easy difficulty. On other difficulties, they spawn a lot. Screw off, dragon. I hear one behind me. God damn you, dragon. Leave me alone. Hey, the sun's coming up, finally. do something here. Forgive me, audience. Okay. I'm gonna do this just so I can show off more of the game. I've shown off, like, the, the enemies and all that. That's basically as far as the enemies go. But I want to be able to show off some of the actual, like, some of the mining and all that without being harassed by zombies. So, forgive me. Also, thank you, music, for just randomly showing up out of nowhere. <laughs> and I'll cut out some of the more grindy stuff from like this. Because I know not everyone wants to watch just a grindy experience. It's not necessarily fun to watch, so I'll, <coughs> I'll do the more exciting. Ooh. That'd be some gold. I want to get this loot box here just so I can show what the loot boxes actually do in this. Ooh, 96 diamond bullets. That's great and all, but I don't have a diamond gun. Okay, so... <clears throat> now we will make ourselves an iron pickaxe. We can use the copper pickaxe for later. But now with an iron pick, you can gather gold. 
I know, it's a miracle. Oh, shit. I am excited to show you guys one of the cooler areas of the game if I can get down to it. Another thing that I can do, too... Is there's a there is something cool that I can show as well that I am gonna do in this video. And that is I am going to go to a land that is called Treasure or uh, Resource Land, or Treasure Island as we always used to call it as kids. Um, essentially what Treasure Island is it's exactly as it sounds. You travel 5,000 blocks and you will get to a land with a literal crap ton of resources. So, what be this? Oh. Interesting. Huh. But yeah, I will... So, you guys, I won't show anything of the journey to get to Treasure Island unless anything exciting happens. But uh, I will see you guys when we get to the Treasure Island, because that is one of the cooler areas. Ooh, actually, speaking of... Here's an area that's pretty cool, too. Alien Spaceships. Now, I can't do anything here because I don't have diamond, uh, but if you have diamond pickaxes or bloodstone pickaxes, you can mine all this stuff and get space goo and make laser weapons. Also, the alien spaceship music is just fucking badass. I mean, listen to that shit. You can't tell me that's not cool music. This game has some banger music, dude. next landmark that we should be coming up across is the uh yep i think this is it yep the mountains here's the mountain music the mountains are a pain in the ass to traverse but i will say the pc version is a little bit easier because you actually have double jump because they updated the pc version um, more than when it came out on the Xbox, and they just didn't do any work on the Xbox version. Which kind of sucked. Ooh, that's a drop. Music, man. Mmm. I mean, 
can't tell me that that music is not good. That's some really good music. I don't remember what biome is after the mountains. Ah, here we go, the snow biome. That was the next one. <clears throat> Listen to that snow biome music. Let's go. Space place. That's a small alien spacecraft. You can get, I think there's three different types of alien spacecraft small, medium, and large. And then there's the mothership, I think, which is just a massive. Imagine actually traveling this much on foot. That would suck. Ah, uh, here we are. The start of resource land. Oh, it's only 3,000, huh? There's the music. Music, man. Ooh, the memories. As you get farther and farther in, you get more and more of the rare resources, like you'll start seeing more gold, you'll start seeing diamonds, which we haven't seen any diamonds yet. And then, out beyond this, you'll get down to, I think they call it Bloodland, which is essentially hell. Which, if I was playing on a difficulty, you could actually fight the devil. He is a boss in this game. He is a bitch to fight. Because your little pistols, they don't do shit on him. Like, they will not do a damn thing against him. Let's see if we can't find some diamond around here. But yeah, just listen to that music, man. Ooh, there's some diamond. gold pickaxe to mine the diamonds and then you'll need a diamond pickaxe to mine the blood and once you get bloodstone there's no going back man once you get bloodstone mm, you're unstoppable because that's when you can start making really cool weapons We'll do this, we'll get rid of that. Oop. All 
All right, let's get this diamond here. Let's go, we got some diamond. All I can think of when I see diamond is just the Tobuska song. It's about time that I find a diamond. Oh, I didn't even see these. Well, hello, diamonds. You know what they say, diamonds are a girl's best friend. But that doesn't mean they can't be a guy's best friend. But yeah, this game, there's a lot of grinding, which I don't mind. Alright, what do I need for a diamond pick? Uh, two diamond and three gold. Okay, so I need more gold. Oop, Thank you, frames, for... spazzing out. Alright, where do I got some more gold? Come on, give me more gold. I'll need more gold and iron. Actually, no, I won't need iron. But I do need more gold. Some more gold. Come on. There we go. Now, now that we got ourselves a diamond pick, let us proceed into the dark abyss. So I can show you guys what hell looks like. I think we're coming up on it up there. Oh, I think you can actually start. Yep, you can start seeing it right there. Yeah, there she is. Here's the start of the underworld. Welcome to hell. What do I need for a bloodstone pick? Bloodstone pick, I need 10 bloodstone, 3 diamond. Okay, so I've got 2. I've got 2 diamonds, so I need 1 more diamond and 10 bloodstone. Should be able to find another piece of diamond around here. There we go. And then getting bloodstone is not super difficult. It just takes forever. Boom. Bloodstone pickaxe. And I'm going to keep the diamond pickaxe with me just because it is a pretty solid tool but now I am going to head back up here we now have the second best pickaxe in the game I say second best because the best one you can tell is the laser drill which technically isn't a pickaxe but now that I've got bloodstone I can actually mine I can actually mine the uh, the lovelies in the space the space rocks. But in order to do that, I will need a bunch of diamonds and a bunch of other supplies. So I'm going to farm for a minute, and I will let or, and I will catch up with you guys when I get back to one of those. Um, Spaceships. Alright, welcome back, guys. We have location in sight, but I also found something interesting that I haven't seen. Ooh, a lucky loot block. Ooh, don't mind if I yes. Alright, so this is what we came here for. See all these green blocks? We need the space goo. <laughs> Welcome. Here's the alien music, which is one of my favorite tracks in the game. I mean, 
how could you not like that song, dude? So, what I also want to do eventually is to make some some of these and then to make laser bullets I forget space rock and diamond casing okay it's not bad. We'll need a lot of space goo. Because I also need to make a laser drill, which will be the first thing that I make. Okay. So, boom. We got a laser drill. Now, I've also got that. And bada bing, bada boom, we have a laser rifle. Now listen to this bad boy. Ooh. Nice. And also, the laser drill. It doesn't really work well on these, but you, like, you just blast through it. I don't remember what this uses though. Gold bullets. Boom. I made diamond bullets. <laughs> oh well. So, but yeah, that is pretty much the gist of Castle Miner Z. If you guys want to see me do another episode of this, uh, leave a like and uh, do do leave a comment down in the comment section below. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching Retro Play Episode Two. Um, thank you all. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.